All right, we have the long snapper, Zach Wood here. If you didn't know who the long snapper was, it's Zach Wood, so you had a key long snap. You guys had to snap three balls to get one field goal at the end of the game. That, that's kind of nerve wracking, but you delivered each time. Yes, sir. Uh, it was, you know, we went out there. We, we do it so many times in practice, and uh, Coach Fick and uh, Coach Mason put so much pressure on us during practice that during the game it almost seems like it's easier than in, in, pra or in the practice than it is in the game. So it's not that – Yeah. it wasn't that bad. I've talked to several long snappers over the years. I always said that, that if you're really doing your job when no one knows who you are. Yeah, because it it seems like when it goes bad, then they oh that was a bad snap by. Right. They don't always recognize you on the good snaps, which they should, because generally you guys deliver. It's like clockwork. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's just like you said. That's the old saying. This you, you want to keep your name out of the coaches and uh, everyone's mouth. Just kind of be the unsung hero of uh, the punt team and the field goal unit. Um, but I mean, after after uh, last week's win, Coach Fick definitely was uh, appreciated the snaps and the holds from uh, Jimmy and Co uh, Cole's kicks for sure. Now this is something you did. Uh, you started going to camps when you were a young teenager. Yeah, well, uh, I actually got into it in uh, Pee Wee football. My dad was uh, the co one of the coaches, and uh, we needed a long snapper. No one wanted to do it. Um, you know, everyone as a small child wanted to be a you know be a quarterback. So I was a center and long snapper, and then. As I got into middle school and high school, I started going to camps and kind of just kept working at the craft, would do it, and then kind of became good at it and and kind of just went from there. It's a unique niche because yeah. kids get recognized for those camps. Yeah, absolutely, and, uh, yeah. It's, a, it's kind of a, I don't say it's a lost art, but not many people can do it. It's just a not, not a natural thing. Right, yeah. It's just, you gotta, it's just like anything. You just got to put the time and work in and just you know, constantly try to get better at it. I mean, I remember I came to a UC camp, I was like in sixth grade, and I couldn't even hardly snap a full 15 yards. And so I just kind of kind of took it with a grain of salt and kind of went from there and tried to get better and got stronger. And obviously, as I got into high school, got better at it, so. All right, so you're, you're a much traveled dude. You're, you're Williamsburg out, out off 32. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, to uh, St. Xavier, to McNicholas. Yes, to sir. Marshall to here. Did I miss anything? No, no, sir. Yeah, I've been I've been around the block. Yes, uh, but no, this I definitely feel more at home here than anywhere. Like I like you said, I'm a, this is I'm a hometown boy. Um, I, I grew up a UC fan. These the Orange Bowl and the Sugar Bowl. I I was a part. Of, I had season tickets. Went to all those games. So, I mean, this is definitely my home. Um, so I'm I'm glad to be part of the Bearcats for a few seasons. That, and uh, you know, I'm glad to be home. All right, you're you're a pretty tough dude too because you played yeah. a low line back in the day, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I played I played mainly offensive line uh, throughout high school. Um, played a little bit of D line, goal line, stuff like that. But um, was center, played a little bit of tackle. Um, so yeah, that, that's I played that in high school. So. Yeah. Now, now the toughest part of you, I, I'm covering the Alabama A and N game, and they come up and they say, "Well, Jack Wood can't snap today." And you had an appendectomy, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, and so someone had to fill in. You were back the next game. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it was it was kind of crazy. Um, we so I was out that game. I had surgery the day before, the, or two days, the Thursday night before that Saturday game, and then I was. They thought I would be three weeks, three to four weeks out. So that week before the U game, Thursday I was feeling much better, and then right before the game on on Saturday, like an hour before the game, the doctors cleared me to snap and they said you could snap as long as you didn't get hit. So they, everyone, all the doctors cleared me and it was just kind of like, I didn't think I was gonna play, but I ended up playing anyway, so. Yeah, kinda, I mean, that's not an easy thing know. to recover from. Yeah. I mean, that's, now, and you, you have since been rewarded. You're, you're a scholarship yes, dude. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes. It's I mean, so toughness and all this stuff pays off. Yes, sir, absolutely. So that, that, that's your message, I guess, to anyone that'll listen. I mean, you, you put in a lot of work and uh, and gone through a lot and you know now you're you're a scholarship player yes sir yes it means a lot I really appreciate I mean the coaches it tells the coaches that they really appreciate all the hard work I put in so you know, I really appreciate them doing that for me all right so you grew up a fan how many folks from uh, Berg are coming to watch there'll be usually any game I've got anywhere from 8 to 12 people that come to my parents tailgates they tailgate kind of along the uh, catwalk there so I'll have you know Quite a few people, all my relatives, uh, my girlfriend, her relatives. So I've got a lot, quite a few people that come to. Then UCLA was your first official college game, is that right? 
Or did uh, you did you get in? It yeah, I played. I played a few games at Marshall. But okay. This is, yeah, it was my first one at UC. Okay. Well, it's sure. a pretty good, uh, pretty yes, good run is. so far. It is. Things yes, are sir. looking up. Yes, sir. All right, Zach Wood. He gets them all.